Folks, I'm going to show you my central performance history metrics from Solution Manager in Business Objects. Log on to Business Objects on Demand, free service from SAP. Have a look at my data set. First thing I'm going to show you is the dialogue uh, transactions and who's been running what in the system. So these are all the users who've been running transactions in my system. If I get rid of the other one and show you the top five users, I do the drop down, select five. So in an instant you can find out who the top five users in my ECC system are. So if I pick on the top number one user, Sunit, if I graph what he's been doing and try and find out what transactions he's been running, I can see how busy this lad's been. So there are all the transactions that he's been running. If I pick one of the transactions, so I know that he's an Adobe Forms guy, so I'm going to fire up the SFP. So let's have a look at um, how many SFPs he's been doing and who else has been running SFPs in the transactions. So all of my uh, Adobe Forms guys have been running the SFP. Alright, so that's step one. Step two, I'm going to interrogate the data a little bit further. I'm going to look after one of my users. So my CEO is a guy called uh, Andrew Stewart. So let's find out what type of response time this guy has been getting because we've got to look after him. So let's find out his top five transactions. Let's get rid of the uncategorized one so we don't see the, the big other bar. So these are the top five transactions that Andrew has been running. So let's find out what kind of response time Andrew has been getting on these transactions. So the ME21N is the most important transaction at this point. So let's just have a look at the response time. So there's a response time for that guy. So the highest response time, we want to look out for this. Why are we getting high response time on this ME transaction? So we want to drill down a little bit further in the data and find out if anybody else has been getting poor response time on this one transaction. So who else has been running it in the system? And you can see that there's two other guys and we want to find out how many times they've been running it in the system and the average response time. So Andrew's run it once and he's got some really high response time. And the other two guys have also run it once and they've got low response time. So we need to talk to Andrew about the way he uses the transactions. Maybe he could improve the way he uses the SAP system. We'll give it another crack now. Now we'll have a look at the batch transaction. So batch generally takes up a lot more CPU and response time than dialog. So you can get some real good value for money here by a bit of time investigating what's been going on. So let's, been, let's find out uh, what's been going on from the batch load. So let's have a look at the top five, get rid of the other as, as per normal. And we find the biggest batch, trend, or the biggest batch uh, uh, report that we'll be running is the RSBTC Create. let's just graph this up there you go so let's let's find out who's been running this and what the response time is for the RSPDC create all right let's change the graph around so my favorite the tag cloud so obviously the the biggest uh, characters or the biggest font uh, indicates the one that's been running the most so let's find out who else has been running RSBTC Create. So you'll get a good spread. There's uh, four or five guys who are running this. Let's put it back to something more sensible. Uh, the, our favorite bar graph. So there you go. This is this a bar graph. So that's who's been running what in the in this in the from the, from a batch perspective, right? So you've got yourself a couple of reports. You may want to share these reports or you may want to share the graphs. So the entire data set can be sent on to someone and he can be invited into Business Objects On Demand to have a look for himself. You might be able to send him an email with a, with a message. You, you may want to download it to a CSV for further processing. And give the next person in the line the chance to have a look at their own type of visualization. Thanks for listening.